Growing closer to God isn't just about learning more. It's about letting that knowledge change us deeply. As we understand God better, something amazing happens inside us. The Holy Spirit, very important in this process, helps us see things differently and changes our way of thinking. This change isn't just for us. It's to get us ready for bigger things. The Bible, in the book of 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 21, says this well. It tells us to get rid of bad things in our lives, making us ready and useful for God's work. This isn't just for our benefit, but it opens the door to doing good things. This journey isn't just about us or staying the same. It's always moving, getting us ready through different ways, studying the Bible, praying, and our own life experiences. All these things work together to prepare us in God's special way. The real point of growing spiritually is to be used by God to impact others, share His love, and be a part of His big plan. Being spiritually mature isn't just about knowing a lot or being religious. It's about showing how God can change lives and being ready to do good things with our hearts and hands. In Apostle Paul's letter to the Ephesians, there's a big idea. We are made by God for a reason. He says, we're not just random people. We're made specially by God for certain jobs that show His greatness. This means our lives aren't just a bunch of random things happening. We're all different, made carefully by God. And each of us has a special part to play in His big plan. This part is more important than just what we want. It's about being made by and for God. But following God's plan isn't easy. We face tough times, problems, and sadness. These hard times aren't just bad luck. They're part of how God gets us ready. We learn that these challenges aren't punishments, but ways to prepare us to be used by God. They help us get rid of our selfishness and pride, making space for God to fill us with His greatness. This change is a big deal. It's about shifting from wanting our own success to living just for God's glory. The Bible, in the book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 16, tells us to shine our light so others will praise God. So, being a Christian means showing God's love and kindness in what we do, say, and who we are. As we get closer to Jesus, we start to think differently. Instead of always asking God for things, we begin to look for ways to help Him. This shows we really understand and appreciate His kindness, and it changes our prayers. We stop just asking for things for ourselves and start asking God, How can I help you? Use me for your work. When we think about Jesus dying on the cross for us, we realize we can't ever pay Him back. We can't find the right words or actions to show how thankful we are for His love and care. So, the best way we can say thank you is by serving God. Helping God isn't just a duty. It's a way to show love. It's our way of thanking Him for all He's done and promising to live not for ourselves, but for Him who gave everything for us. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I praise You for Your awesome power. I'm grateful for Your provision over our lives. Thank You for the mighty privilege of being able to come before You, asking Your guidance and direction over my life. Lord, we want to be a vessel of honor for you. We are joining together in prayer because we want to be of service to you. I ask that you cleanse us from all that is dishonorable. Although we are marred by sin, we repent, Lord, and ask for your blood to cleanse us. I come before you with all of my failures. I lay all of my mistakes down at your feet 
and I ask, Father, that you would shape me. I ask that you would mold me, make me a pure vessel in your sight. God, in your endless kindness, give us the power to beat our flaws and the bravery to follow your truth. Help us shine like your light in a dark world. Give us the smarts to know what you want and the determination to do it, even when it's hard. Let our lives show your love and our deeds tell of your kindness, bringing people closer to you. God, as we give ourselves to you, fix us where we're broken, fill us where we're empty, and lift us up to joyfully serve your kingdom with strong faith. Lord, we come to you ready to let go of our mistakes. We believe in your promise in 1 John chapter 1 verse 9 where you say, If we admit our sins, you will forgive us and make us clean from all our wrongs. Please clean our hearts and remove anything that stops us from serving you well. Take away our selfishness, jealousy, lies, useless talk, harshness, and unwillingness to forgive. Help us stop thinking bad thoughts and avoid things that tempt us to do wrong. We ask you to face our wrongs with your kind forgiveness. Let us be empty of sin and full of your spirit, totally following your way. Make us people who bring your peace and purify us. Let us be super excited about your word and always close to you in prayer. Change us so we can live pure lives, showing everyone what your love and goodness really look like. My prayer is that there would be less of me and more of you. I yield my desires, my ambitions, and my plans to you so that you can make me into the vessel you want me to be. Work in us, Heavenly Father, and work through us. Holy Spirit, Please kindle a desire within me to worship God and bring glory to Him. Empower me to do the works of Him that created me. I want your light to reflect through my thoughts, words, and actions. As your vessel, Lord, I want to live by the good qualities that come from your Spirit. Let love be the foundation of what I do. Joy the background of my words, and peace like a coat I wear. In this way, others will see my fruit and be drawn to glorify you and surrender their lives to your will. Lord, you have called us for a purpose and we are ready to be used by you. I pray that the Holy Spirit will do a mighty work in us and prepare us and enable us to go forward as powerful witnesses for your kingdom. Help me to be patient and strong when things are tough. Make me gentle so I'm kind in my touch and good so my actions show your love. Strengthen my faith so it's solid. Teach me to be humble and to control myself. With these good qualities, let my life show how you can change people. May those who meet me feel your presence and praise you. You call us for a special reason, and I'm ready to say, here I am. God, use me. Let your spirit fill us and prepare us to be strong representatives of your kingdom, spreading your truth and love. I'm already thankful for the amazing things you're doing in our lives. I will always talk about how great you are and sing to praise you. Your actions aren't just in me, but everywhere, showing your endless kindness and favor. Amen.